Okay, in this section, I am going to teach you how to combine colors. So, if the previous section was a little bit difficult for you, don't worry, because I got you. There is an easy solution to this problem. First, let's go to this page, Adobe Colors. Okay, you can use the color wheel to find your color combinations. In this part, you can see the different ways of combination, like monochromatic, and here you can choose the colors. Triads, for example, yeah, this combination of tertiary colors. You can also choose the shades and the tints that you want. You know, changing these shades or tints. This combination on here, you will get all the colors with their respective codes. So you can get them. Also, complementary combination with the shades, etc. Split combination. In reality, there are so many different combinations that you can explore and use for your designs. And with this, definitely you will get all of them. There are a lot, a lot square but if you're not comfortable using the color wheel don't worry i also got you if you want to find color palettes for your projects you can go to these two sections explore and trends let's click first in trends basically in this section they show you images and you get a color palette from the image as you can see but not only that it also shows you images from specific topics like fashion graphic design illustrations arch the game design now if you click in an image you will get the color palette with their respective codes so you can copy them and use them on your projects you can also search for specific topics in order to get a palette that is more suitable for your particular project. For example, we are going to design a food blog. So we are going to look for food. On here you have a lot of different palettes. For example, if I wanted this, I will just take all the colors from here. Or food blogs, the same. You get the images, you see the palette, and if you like it, you get the colors. With this, you can get color palettes with harmony and that go with the personality of your project. In a minute, I will also explain you how to get a color palette from an image using Adobe XD, but that will be in a minute. Another option that we have is Explore. On here, you can find popular color palettes that are currently used. You can click and get all the codes from the palette that you have selected. Another way to find color palettes is using Pinterest. In order to use it, you will need to create an account, but it's free. This will also be useful to find inspiration for your projects, but we will talk about that later. Let's continue with our last example, food, restaurant, food blog. Let's assume we didn't find the color palettes that we are looking for. Now let's share here. Food. We scan all of them and see if any image catch our attention. This image got my attention. These are the palette of colors that I want to use. I like the color palette that this image has, so, so I will just right click, copy image, and paste it on Adobe XD. Don't worry, in the next section I will teach you how to install Adobe XD. This is just an example, okay? Let's assume that these are the colors that I like. And okay, now to create our color palette, let's create a rectangle for example and go to this right section, which we have fill. Use this little tool and we go over the image to get the exact color that we want to use. 
Okay, we want more colors, not just this. So we create more rectangles and the same. We go to this section, look for the colors we are looking for. For example, I like this green. We create a green. And now let's go with our third color. And I like this darker brown. Now we have our color palette that comes from this image. And also if we go to this section and we click on fill, we will get the color code. This way I can create my color palette using other people's images and designs. And remember, this is not stealing since colors have no owner, okay? Or on the contrary, you don't like these colors and you want to continue with other images. Then you continue looking. And a really similar thing you can do with another page in which you can get color palette and inspiration. This one is called Dribble. We go to this section of share and we look for what we want. Food, for example. Let's see if any design calls our attention. Okay, this one. Unfortunately, if you want to get the image like a really big image, you need to create a free account. It's free, but if you don't want the hassle of having to create an account, you can just print part of the screen in order to get the image. Adobe XD, and we copy it. Now, let's do the same. Copy the rectangles and create your new palette. With this simple trick, you can find color palettes that are already being used by designers and apply them to your project. This is all for now. We are going to leave it here. I will see you on our next lesson.